Hi viewers, Namaste. In previous video, we have seen about open interest keeping futures data in mind. In this video, we will learn about the same open interest but from options market point of view. Also, we will give you a basic idea about PCR derived from this option data. So, welcome to the world of get ready. What is open interest and how to arrive to it etc have been discussed already in the previous video. So, let us not waste time discussing it again. Those who have not seen the previous video can find its link in the description box below and the i symbol above. We suggest you to please watch that video after this. But anyways, in simple terms, open interest is the measure of contracts open still. From individual market's view, few participants participate in call options or put options either by buying or selling. They will freshly open their position. Another set of participants trade to book their profits or reduce losses or to exercise their contracts. In other words, they come to the market to exit from their positions, to close their positions. So, to understand open interest in these terms, if more volume traded on that particular day is to open positions than to close positions, then open interest increases. Next. If more volume traded on that particular time is to close positions than to open positions, then open interest decreases. Hope you have understood this. Else, please consider rewinding it and seeing again. Okay, let us now see how this open interest is of use to us. But before that, let's warm up with required basics. First, one becomes a call option buyer as he is bullish on that underlying asset. And one becomes call option seller due to bearish view in that same script. Similarly, a put option buyer is on a bearish view and seller is on a bullish view. Next, in any option, buyer has limited risk but unlimited profit. And seller has limited profit to the premium but unlimited risk, right? One more thing, buyer profits only when price moves towards his favorable direction. but for seller, even if the price stays there itself, he profits. How? Due to time decay. Again, option seller's risk is more than that of option buyer. So, can we say that option seller takes more care during analyzing and then plan his trade? Also, option seller needs more margin than that of option buyer. For example, for Nifty 9500 call option with a premium of 100 rupees, Buyer needs only 7500, but call option seller needs almost 1.5 lakhs based on futures margin. This may change too. But we can say that definitely most of the times big pockets only opt for option selling. So with all these information, we can come to an assumption that option buyers are mostly retailers like us and option sellers are mostly institutional traders who are thought to be smart money market movers etc. One more assumption. Despite more risk of an option seller, he took a position which shows how much confident he is. And also, these smart money like institutional investors have early access to news too. So with all this, finally we assume that option seller is correct most of the times than option buyer. Can we assume or not? So with this, let us check each option style. Before we move further, I have a small request. If you like our topics and explanations, please do consider subscribing to our channel. We do lots of efforts to make these videos. So your likes and subscriptions boost our energy in doing more videos. Also, please try to share this video to maximum people as possible. One more thing, get trading is an authorized person for fire securities. If you consider opening your account through us, you will also get access to our closed group. So please check our FIRES playlist whose link is added in the i symbol above or the description box below. You can see all the advantages of FIRES and its platform too. If at any time you like FIRES securities, please click on the link in the description box below and submit your details. Our FIRES team will contact you. Okay, back to topic, first call option. Let us take Nifty index. Suppose when Nifty is at 9000 and if an open interest of a 10,000 strike price call option 
expiring in 10 days rises what does this mean call option buyers think that in another 10 days nifty will cross the price of 10000 plus the premium paid by them what does call option sellers think nifty per sure will not cross 10000 that is why they took this unlimited risk for limited profit right so from our previous assumption that option sellers are mostly correct can we say that there is more probability of nifty not crossing 10000 agreed or not with this can we say that 10000 is resistance for nifty yes or no how is this resistance form the resistance which is assumed to be formed because of high and rising open interest in that particular call option so take away in call options, if there is strong buildup of open interest in out of the money strike prices, then that price can act as a resistance for that underlying asset. Probability is more. Next, put option. Suppose Nifty is trading at 9000. And if there is a strong buildup in open interest at 8000 strike price put option, which is expiring in 10 days, what does this mean? Put option buyer thinks that Nifty will fall below the price of 8000 minus premium price. And what does put option sellers think? Nifty will not fall below 8000 by the end of expiry. Correct? Again, taking seller as a right person, what can we predict? That Nifty will not fall below 8000. Right? So, can we say that this 8000 is acting as a strong support? Yes or no? So, check away. In put options, if there is a strong buildup in out of the money strike price, then that price has more probability of acting as a support. But beware, this data changes from time to time based on view on the markets. You should be continuously tracking those. Reliable information can be found after 7 pm in the released EOD report. Recent changes in open interest can be used for intraday by screening those stocks. You should use your trading strategies as confluence and then can plan on your trades. One more thing, for positional trades, this can give more reliability. There is one more challenge too. These options can also be used as insurance products by strong hands. So you should know when there is speculation and when there is hedging. We will cover that in advanced topics soon. But anyways. This basic stuff can be used for filtering stocks and these supports and resistances can be used as a confluence to your analysis. So now important question, where to track this open interest? You may be pretty aware of option chain, right? We can simply check this open interest and its changes there itself. We can check that in NSE website. This is option chain in NSE website. Open interest will be at the extreme end of both calls and puts. Change in open interest is the adjacent ones. Let us check from at the money strike prices. This is current market price. So 9150 and 9200 are at the money. See these open interest in call options. Open interest change in 9400 and 9500 are high. Did you observe it? Open interest rose and price fell. What does this mean? Call option shorters are aggressively taking their positions. So with this data, first resistance can be 9400 and second resistance can be 9500. At the same strike prices, see the put options at the same strike price. 9500 open interest had not fell much. but 9400 almost fell by 10% and price rise too. What does this mean? Existing shorters are exiting from their positions. So this 9400 can be thought as good resistance until next changes in open interest. Now put options. 9000 and 9100 strike prices have high open interest changes. But price has not fell much. And again call options open interest two rows. So these 9100 and 9000 can be seen as support, but there is no much clarity in the downside. But there is no much clarity in the downside. 
there is indecisiveness in the market. As said, you need to track the open interest now and then. By tracking it at the EOD, you can analyze the sentiments. Practice make traders perfect is the same. You can find the changes and thus can get more insights. Tracking this in highly volatile markets cannot be easily done. But as said, practice well and then plan for trades once you are confident. Okay, this option chain can also be checked in FIS1. This is FIS1 platform. In FNO analysis, click on the option chain with tools. In the search bar below, type Nifty and select this. See, this is option chain. We can select different expiries here. Advantage of looking in this platform is you can select how many strike prices you want to see. If you select 20, then making at the money as center, both sides 9 strike prices will be shown. Same for 30, 40 and even you can select all and check the full option chain. See here, this is PCR. This is the ratio which some participants consider from option chain. Let us check what is this PCR. PCR, put call ratio. It is obtained by open interest of the puts divided by open interest of call options. So, this is a comparison of put option interest to call option interest. Few participants take volumes rather than open interest. Volume based PCR can be analyzed for intraday sentiments, but for positional trades, it is better considering open interest based PCR which gives more insights into market. Okay, similar to RSI treating as overbought when it reaches 70, this PCR can also be used as trend reversal by comparing with some metrics. That is, in a rising market or a falling market, we can predict the reversal points. That's what some traders feel. And that is why this is called as contrarian indicator. Why? because we are thinking to go against the trend. We are going contrary to the trend. This can also be called as sentimental indicator as this PCR helps us in analyzing market participant sentiments. If you are still confused how, say this. If there is more activity in put options, we already believe that sellers are mostly correct. So in put option, what will be the option sellers view? Bullish, right? Also, if there is more activity in call options, the view may be bearish, right? So tell me, from this, can we say that if put options open interest is greater than call options open interest, the market is bullish? So if this PCR value is more than 1 and rising, the probability is towards bullish trend. And continuing, agreed? Similarly, if calls open interest are greater than puts open interest, then sentiment may be bearish. So if PCR is less than 1 and falling, then the probability is for bearish trend and continuing, right? I cannot say confidently, but in an uptrend, if PCR value reaches 1.5, then there is some chance that the sentiment may change and markets may fall. I personally have not analyzed this, but if you find this interesting, Try to add this in your analysis point too. Similarly, if PCR value reaches 0.6 or sometimes 0.5 in a downtrend, then some chances are that the sentiment may change and the script may go uptrend. As said, just keep this into considerations and add this to your confidences list. If at any time I find this is working, I will make a special video out of this. If any one of you feel that this is working, please write to us in the comment section below. This fears is all about open interest considering options data. Let us meet in our next video. If you like our videos, please like, share and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. If you want to open account with FIRES, please consider submitting your details in the landing page, which can be opened from the link in the description box below. Have a happy, safe and profitable trading. Jai Hind.